Hello friends. In this video, we will discuss a projectile problem launched horizontally off from a height. So here are basic rules to solve a problem. First rule is horizontal and vertical components should be solved separately. That means if you are solving vertical displacement y, then you can use only vertical components of velocity and acceleration. You can't use horizontal components like ax or bx. Same way, if you are solving for horizontal displacement x, then you can use only horizontal components of velocity and acceleration. You can't use any vertical components vy or ay. Second rule is time is common in both kinds of motion. So, in projectile motion, same time is taken to travel horizontal distance x and vertical distance y. So, you can use same time t to solve for y and also use same time t to solve for horizontal distance x. So, you can use time t to solve horizontal component and vertical components as well. Here is a practice problem. A soccer ball is kicked horizontally off a 35 meter high hill with an initial velocity of 20 meter per second. And then you have to find the time required for soccer ball to fall to the ground. That means you have to find the time of flight. And then you have to find the horizontal distance and the final velocity of the soccer ball. So step 1. First try to draw the picture of projectile motion like ball is launched horizontally off with velocity v equals 20 meter per second. As gravity is acting on the ball, ball will move to the right also move downward. Ball's path will be like this. So here we have to find the time t from this point to this point. Total time from initial point to the final point. And then we have to find the horizontal distance x this one. And then we have to find the velocity of the soccer ball at this point just before it hits the ground like here. So we have to find the three terms T, VF and X. Now we have to set a frame of reference. So we always take initial point as the origin and the direction of ball's motion would be the positive direction. So this would be positive X axis and this would be positive Y axis. So, right is the positive direction and up is the positive direction. Down is the negative y axis and left is also negative x axis. So, these two directions are the negative directions. If initial velocity is given, then we need to find the x and y components of initial velocity. You can see ball is launched horizontally. That means it is given only a horizontal velocity. So, v o x would be 20 meter per second and v o y would be 0 because ball is not given any vertical velocity. Now we have to make a table of x and y components. We will write all the x components here and all the y components here. There is only one acceleration which is gravitational acceleration acting downward. So there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction or along the x axis. So ax equals to 0 and ay equals gravity. Gravity is acting downward and down is the negative direction. It would be minus g. So minus 9.8 meter per second. Second information is given. Hill is 35 meter high. So here height of the hill is 35 meter. As ball is going downward. So ball displaced minus 35 meter. So y equals to minus 35 meter. Step 4. Now we need to use kinematic equations to solve unknowns. At first, we will find the time. Either we can use x components or we can use y components. Let's check kinematic equation. We need at least three givens to find any unknowns. You can see in y components, we have three givens. We can use this equation. This equation is for displacement. So I will write the displacement equation in the vertical motion like this. Like delta y equals v o y t plus half vertical acceleration times t square delta y equals minus 35 v o y equals to 0 so 0 times t plus half minus 
t square. So if you multiply any number to 0, the result is 0. So minus 35 equals, solve this, minus 4.9 t square. Minus minus cancelled out. So we will get t square equals 35 divided by 4.9. That will give us 7.142. So here 2.672 second is the time of the flight of the soccer ball. Means soccer ball took 2.672 second to fly from the initial point to the final point. Next we have to find the horizontal displacement that is x. Let's take new page. So for horizontal displacement again we will use the formula of displacement this one. So delta x equals v naught x we will put all the horizontal components here times t plus half horizontal acceleration t square v o x equals 20 meter per second and a x equals to 0 20 times we got time 2.672 plus a x equals to 0 so the whole term would go to 0 so this term would give us 53.44 meters Meter is the unit of displacement. So, horizontal displacement of the soccer ball is 53.44 meters. Now, we have to find the velocity of the soccer ball just before it hits the ground. It is also called as Vf. So, for that, we will find the Vfx and Vfy. You know, horizontal component of velocity remains constant. So, Vfx would equal to Vox means horizontal component of final velocity would equal to horizontal component of initial velocity that is 20 meter per second. Same way we can find the vertical component Vfy. Vertical component keeps changing so we need to use this formula. Just write the formula in the vertical motion Voy plus Ay times t. Voy is the 0, Ay is the minus 9.8 and time we got 2.672 so this will give us minus 26.18 meter per second so let me show you why we get a negative value here so here was our soccer ball so the final velocity at this point would be like this this is our vf so its vertical component would be like this and horizontal component would be like this you can see vertical component is downward. That's why we got a negative value of Vfy. Now you need to use Pythagoras theorem to find the final velocity. Which is Vf equals root Vfx to the whole square plus Vfy to the whole square. Just plug in values 20 square plus minus 26.18 to the whole square. When you square both terms, this would be 400 plus. If you square minus, it would turn to positive. We got 32.94 meter per second. So this is the velocity of the soccer ball before it hits the ground. Final velocity. I hope you understand how to use kinematic equations to solve horizontal and vertical components of projectile motion. In the following video, we will solve another practice problem. So stay tuned and study more. Here is the question of the day. Solve it to see if you get the right answer. Answer is given below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like for daily updates. Thank you.